The extraordinary life of Abdullah Hisham Abbas ended here, a spot close to the presidential palace. Exactly what happened is still being investigated, but there's no doubting the extent of the loss. Abbas has been described as a rising star, a man full of promise, a beacon of hope. With his family, he'd fled Somalia in the early 1990s and spent much of his early life as a refugee in Dadaab over the border in Kenya. He was among the first refugees to come home in 2011. Earlier this year, he told us why he returned. It was a tough decision to come back home and serve uh, the Somali community. Coming back to Somalia and then interacting with the community at the grassroots level uh, in different parts of the country where there is instability. People will come voluntarily if they find the place hospitable, if they find the opportunity, if they find a better life. If they can get that in Somalia, they will all come here. Inta kahis, inta mesh kure, inta bad degles wala nayar, inta digalam eslawa na askeyo suri jidwa la nayar. And it was a message he took to the people of Somalia, especially the young. Change has finally come to Somalia. The will of the people has prevailed. As the young people, we have the energy, the resources and the time to improve our nation. Everyone has a role to play. We are now in the rebuilding stage and the main questions everyone should be asking is what can you do for your country? Abbas became an MP in 2016 and a minister in March taking charge of the critical public works and housing ministry. Violent death is nothing unusual on the streets of Mogadishu, but this one stands out. Abdullah Sheikh Abbas believed in his country's potential to rebuild, and yet he died at the hands of the very same government he was committed to serve. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.